If YDHB made a completion of all the times we think you lied, would you watch it and address the issues? I'd only do that if the video was short, straight to the point. Wasn't condescending or assumption-based. I don't want it to be rude, biased, or catering to her audience. Her audience dislikes me and judges my every move. A big reason I never respond to videos like this is because most rumors that are made up about me are believed by thousands. Kinda hard to get my word out there to a bunch of ears who only want to hear what they want to. Why don't you shower daily? I do shower daily. I don't wash my hair daily though. I don't even brush my hair daily. People seem to assume that just because my hair looks like a mess that I do not shower. Kinda sucks but oh well. People will believe what they want and then just create stories around everything else. If you was approached by my 600 pound light or something similar, would you do it? Or have you been approached by them previously? You've inspired me to buy the glow in the dark putty in your last vlog smiley face. I love a putty moment. OMG that putty is great. LOL. But yeah, the thought of being on a show like that sounds nice because they are literally there to help you, like duh, that is what the show is about. But I deep down, I do not think I would be a good fit for a show like that because I am highly impatient and I hate all the interview shit and the waiting around to see if I was approved for the show or not. That process is extremely long. I actually auditioned for family by the ton years ago because they reached out to me. It literally took them 7 months just to tell me that they chose someone else. Back in the Destiny era, Destiny had a cat that ran away. You told a story about how a day or so before it came away, it slipped through the door and got outside but you ran after it and caught it. But mysteriously after that it ran away. From what it looks like in the videos you weren't really enthusiastic about helping Destiny look for her cat and jumped right on the opportunity to get a new one. So my question is, did you really catch the cat after it ran outside, or was that just a cover story so you didn't look bad for losing your girlfriend's cat? Show less our roommate literally admitted to letting her out at 3am after home from work with her boyfriend. You're very confusing, like you're a different person almost every time I watch you and honestly is probably contributing to why so much of your audience doesn't trust you. You're never yourself. You're always just playing some character. As that one person said a husk of a person. In my last video, the Dollar Tree, that is the real me. If you don't like her, that's fine. But if you do, there will be more of her. You and your girlfriend cried over how much you love each other? Really? You are 31 lol. Sounds toxic as fuck, not beautiful. God you suck we were dancing in the office to what our future wedding song would be. It honestly felt amazing, to feel that kind of love and holding each other so close. It made us have a few tears run down our cheeks. That doesn't sound toxic. That sounds like love, lol that was cringe as fuck to get PTS to read that one. You almost make me ashamed to be a lesbian, like how you're a cringe you haul lesbian and basically go back and forth saying, yeah I might have sex with a guy. You're some of the most horrible representation for us frowning face I think you're a miserable representation of the whole LGBTQ plus community in general. I think more than anyone else. People in this community understand how it is to not understand ourselves and our sexualities. Majority of us did go through a stage of our life where we were confused. Some of us go through a few stages. I came out as a lesbian when I was 18. I started noticing that I wouldn't mind making out with other genders a couple years ago. I was in a position where I felt like I could not speak on these feelings. I was ashamed and confused. I am now in a relationship where my partner will accept me for who I am. I think that you shaming me for questioning my sexuality is pretty disgusting. 
it's 2022. No one should ever feel ashamed trying to figure out their sexuality. Lala wonder if the person who posted that question had seen her Hello Darling Lesbian Cruise story. The one where she reduces everyone down to their clothing and genitalia as the pinnacle of their identity LMAO. I wish you would stop saying, obsessed, when talking about things that you like. It invalidates actual obsessions in people that have OCD. I do have OCD, yes. Diagnosed, and I'm pretty sure I have adult ADHD, I'll be assessed soon. So I get it, I do in fact get obsessed with things, objects, activities, etc. You did not graduate with your class. You got a GED. Why lie about it? No, I did not tears of joy I graduated with my class and I walked across the stage to get my diploma. My foster parents and brother were in the audience cheering me on. Afterwards, we went to Applebee's to celebrate. Random fact, my graduation outfit was actually bought by my teacher. She was a mentor to me who helped me a lot. I was only able to wear a cap and gown because of her. I love how Applebee's is in this story lol. Scariest Twinkie Moment When I first moved in with Eric and Ricky, Becky and I went on a date. We were probably gone for no longer than three hours. When we got home, Ricky ended up telling me that Twinkie ran away while I was gone and thankfully they found her before I got home. They didn't tell me while I was gone though because they didn't want me to worry. I wish they would have told me because I would have went straight home. That is so out of the ordinary for Twinkie because she is insanely well behaved. She has never tried to run away before that or after that incident. I think she just wasn't used to Eric and Ricky at the time but she is now thankfully. It scared me though because it made me feel like moving in with Eric and Ricky was a bad idea because I was afraid she was going to continue that pattern but gratefully she warmed up to them rather quickly and began to love them. Interesting story if you consider the Destiny Runaway Cat story. Why don't you put any effort into how you look? This is your job. I'm not saying women have to wear makeup for their job but you literally look like you just rolled out of bed in your last 7 videos. It makes people take you less seriously because you're not taking your job seriously. The only thing I have not done in my most recent videos is wear makeup. I am wearing what I would normally wear. I literally wake up, shower, and get dressed for the day. There are days where I wake up and don't even want to open my eyes let alone actively choose to shower and get dressed. Depression is rough. Man but I do it daily because showering and getting dressed for the day actually makes me feel a million times better. But regardless, if I was wearing makeup, people would not be saying this as often. Yeah, my hair is a mess but it is simply in a messy bun. That is the point, it's a messy bun. Hearing people comment on how I look is definitely crazy to me because it is proving that unattractive women, myself, have to be wearing makeup for people to think they didn't just roll out of bed. So if you were in your last foster home at 17, that means you lied about being 16 when Casey was 15. You had to be at least 18 to get out of the foster system. So many lies you can't even remember them all Casey and I met online. We were long distance for a year and a half before I moved in with him. I started dating him when I was 16. Met him for a few days when I was 17. Moved in with him when I was 18 broke up with him when I was 20. The missing element from your channel is side characters. You need them. Without that, you'll never get back to the views you used to have. So my question is, when will you show us yourself with friends? With family? With literally anyone else? It's not interesting to just watch you eat or haul your groceries. We need the variety. We need a cast of characters. This is something I cannot control. Tell me something I can do that I actually can control. 
when are you ever going to address the fact that you started dating Casey when he was 15 and you were 18, that literally makes you a groomer I was 16 when he was 15, so what are you talking about? Would you ever get a bachelor's degree in creative writing? You have so much time to study, it makes me jealous. I'm not sure if that's something I'd want to go in debt for. It sounds fun, the experience and all, but I don't have the money. LOL doesn't have the money but will gladly spend it on food, Lego and Dollar Tree hauls. 800 plus calories for that entire McDonald's mukbang, in Berlin. SMH, this is your content now. Shoveling food into your face and then constantly complaining about not losing weight. I used to be a fan of yours but my goodness it's all just um now confused face if I ate 800 calories per meal 3 meals a day, I'd still be in a calorie deficiency. I'd be eating 2400 calories. Which is recommended to me to lose weight smile stop shaming me for 800 calorie meal that would have been a 3000 calorie meal a few months ago. By Victory Hand Light Skin Tone Don't you think it's creepy that woman in her 30s is obsessing over Billie Eilish who is 20? Obsessing because I like her music and perfume, thinking face you're weird. You said your GF doesn't watch your eating videos but you're lying. Your McDonald's one at 5.43 you can see her arms in the frame behind you. All you do is lie. No one believes anything you say anymore. Maybe you should call your bestie Frank. She is in the room across from me working. She isn't watching me eat. 9 times out of 10 she is also eating her own lunch. The FBI thing absolutely isn't real. You're not the Unabomber living in the ass end of nowhere with zero physical footprint in Berlin. The FBI wouldn't have to go to someone else to get your address. Unless you're lying on some very important documents. OMG the story is real. Holy shit. 500 pounds in eating McDonald's and monetizing it OFC. Shame shame, 500 pounds girl who is suffering with an eating disorder. If I wouldn't have allowed myself to have that meal, I would have binge on that in even more later. One of the very first things I was taught in outpatient that if you're craving something, eat it. Because if you suffer with binge eating and you do not allow yourself to enjoy those cravings, you will shamelessly and regretfully binge on it later on and probably eating triple what you would have if you just ate it when you were craving it. Stop acting like you know what you're talking about. T-H-A-N-K-S-S-S-S That's all I can handle for now. If you wanna see other questions that didn't make it into the video, there's a link in the description to her Telenum page.